Hello, and welcome back to Sakya Treason. So, um, yeah, we need to figure out what we want to be doing this time. Um, where do we potentially want to attack? Let's, let's zoom out. We gotta work it out again from first principles. So, uh, we need to get here, 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 and here. And we need to get them all under our control. So, we currently have zero. Uh, how are we gonna get into this area? And into this area as well. So this one, we could potentially attack through these two countries. So were we about to declare holy war on this guy? I think that's what we're about to do. That makes sense. Let's see if that's still an option. Yes, yeah, so we could buy their holy war him for some land. Yeah, that would that would work out quite well. He has no allies. Uh, how many men do we have? We have more men. He has no allies. This seems like a good war. If we can start getting in and around, that's, that would work really well. Uh, the only problem is we would have to go for whatever gives us that land because if we try and go down this way We're not gonna get enough land to do it in one war And if we try and go for anything else like if we try and go there's like this is one duchy is what we get at here So let's uh, go and see what wars we have to declare. I do have a little bit of a cold apologies uh, If I'm sounding not right, but it's not my uh, audio setup. It's just you know my voice right um that seems absolutely fine. Because it's a minor holy war, other people can't join in, I think? Yeah. Okay. Well, that works out really well for us if we can get that going. Uh, yeah. I'm seeing if there's any reason not to. Vassal levies raised too long is probably our biggest reason not to. But if we hold off... Let's have a think about it. If we hold off much longer, we're probably going to die mid-thing. Yeah, especially if we have a cough. I think I want to just push for it. We did just introduce him to the realm, didn't we, our son? I think we did. He's got Craven, which is a little bit off, but apart from that, his stats are fairly good. Um, yeah, let's declare a war. Let, let's do it right now before we uh, become a different character. So, uh, ho minor holy war for Pamir. We then want to raise up all of our men. Uh, we could potentially not raise up the vassal men. We still have enough without them. Yeah, let's not raise them up. That way we don't get, um, yeah, we don't get any problems for that. These guys were hostile too? Who are they? Oh, they're, they're, oh right, they were at war? Uh, no. Wait, he's attacking... Ah, he was attacking in a holy war for that land, I see. Or for the Karanid Sultanate. Okay, that makes sense, and then, okay. Yeah, we're fine with that. If all of his men are over that side, that works perfectly for us. Uh, they're coming for us, so what I'm going to do is just grab these couple men to send them around here. I see they're going to arrive in that province, so uh, maybe we'll force them out. To do like that. You head around there. You head around here. Uh, I'm bent over the Buddha Havakana, trying to make sense of an especially cryptic passage which when a faint tap on the door breaks my concentration. I call for my visitor to enter. To my surprise, little Sherub Tulstrom's fa pale face peeks through the opening. Father, why are you hiding? I miss you. Okay. So we can read the Buddha Havakana together. Oh, we must be in seclusion. I was wondering what this event was. We're in seclusion right now. Um, I mean, say, I'm sorry, my great lord. Come here and sit. Come and sit at my lap. Okay. So, we delay, we take some time to comfort our child, delaying our progress. But, uh, there's a chance that we become kind because of it. Okay. And chance we become friends with our son. Fair enough, fair enough. Or we can say, I do not have time right now. Hmm. You know what, let's read him the Buddha Havakana. Let's try and teach him something. Sheriff Tulstrom listened intensively as I read for the Buddha Havakana. After I was done, he had many questions which we discussed thoroughly. While Shirab Tulstrom is still too young to grasp the finer nuances, I do think he learned something important. Helping my son is truly rewarding. So, I'm proud of you, my son. So, what do we do we get? It was an important lesson, just doing valuable deeds, yep. Um, so he gained the trait Idolizer. There's a chance he becomes shrewd, which would make him amazing. His shrewd is plus two to every stat. Okay. Idolizer is a chance of zealous, Eritrude, or frail. Frail would be fairly bad, but Eritrude and zealous are good. 
Uh, the extra learning is nice. Uh, yeah. And there's a chance we'll become close friends. Let's see what happens. Um, I don't think we got a single event. From what I can tell there. He did not become shrewd. Uh, we did. We are not friends. Uh, but he did get kind parent. So we did get one of the things. Okay. Yeah, we can now all head into that province. That should do well for a first fight. Yep, looks good. Looks good. Uh, the symptoms that... Uh, uh, I don't know where my mind is at. The symptoms which have troubled you lately are a sign of something much worse. You have cancer. Oh. Well. That's not very good. Uh, how serious? Uh, probably fairly serious, I think. It's just kind of normal level. So minus three health. If we follow my usual... Um, Thing of five of um, five health, which is the default equals about fifty years of age being your average life. Our average life kind of got put down to twenty, so we're probably gonna die, I would imagine. Uh, let's go for a risky uh, thing here and see whether our uh, marshal can save us. I also like the idea of our marshal being our court physician. It kind of works quite well with the you know recently expanded kind of nation here. Our marshal's quite important, and it would be kind of like field surgery kind of stuff going down. I don't know. That's just how I see it in my mind, anyway. Uh, Ying Po uh, informed you that he has identified the tainted tissue, which was the root of your disease, and that removing it would most likely cure you. You were most pleased to agree to the surgery. However, in hindsight, you wish the Ying Po had told you the tissue was your face. Curses may Mara strike. Goss Ying Po down. He's a traitor. He has disfigured me and I am severely injured. So, again, if the average health is 5, uh, like the default health is 5, we are now going to be at 0. Doesn't mean we have zero, 0 health, because actually we do a plus 1 from Theology and another positive in here somewhere. No, we actually just have plus 1 to Theology, so we have 1 health currently. Which means if we follow my previous one, average health, like average age would be like 10. So we're probably dead. I spent the entire day saying mantras in deep concentration. Doing that with a face that's just been cut open is very impressive. During the first hours I noticed nothing out of the ordinary, although at some point I lost track of time and entered a dreamlike state. Probably from the lack of, the blo of uh, blood. Anyway, there was nothing but the holy words passing through my lips and they rang true as the sweetest music. Truly, uh, today my awareness is truly expanded. Okay. Yeah. Mara must have cast a curse on me in my venture to recover the lost artifact, for I was just brought the most dreadful news. Spymaster Poe died in an unexplainable accident while searching for the artifact. Oh no! He's dead. And he can no longer fulfill his duty. Um, we will need to ask someone else. Okay. Let's put in a new spy master. It's gonna be uh, this guy, I think. And if we send him a small gift, he will actually like us, so he won't try and hurt us. Right. There's a bountiful well of wisdom in the Buddha Havakana. Today, I have uncovered new meanings in several passages, which I have previously never given much thought. I shall take these lessons to heart and carry them with me, no matter where life takes me. Mark my words, the Buddha Havakana is truly a book of wonders. And I have had my mind expanded again. Yep, no matter where life will take me. We're now playing as Prince uh, Namde. Okay. Uh, we've ascended to heaven at age 51. We died of cancer, always patient. He never lost his temper. A godly man, he is with the perfect, uh, perfected ones now. No, we are now Shirab Tolstrom II. Uh, merely 15 years old, the realm is left in the capable hands of Regent and the Council. Long live Shirab II Tolstrom. There we go. Um, merge up. We want to fight that army, so we'll get that going here. Uh, so we are playful, idolizer, craven, patient, greedy, and the person we idolize has just died, so interesting. Need a new chancellor who would be uh, probably this guy. Let's get him to... Um, Oh no, maybe, 
They improved diplomatic relations with somebody. Uh, that's not what I meant to click on. That's what I meant to go for. With this vassal, who is over here. Is she a rebel? No. Oh, she is a revolt. Yeah, so I actually want La. There we go. Let's improve relations with La. That's fine. We also need a court chaplain, who will be our uh, courtier. And she will... Um... Uh, but apostate isn't that bad. It does give us monthly piety, which, you know, that would probably work out fairly well. Um, research cultural text probably better, though. Right. Uh, we need to give our sister a childhood focus, which will be... I don't know. Why not, why not etiquette? We need to set a crown focus, so that's going to be this one. And we want to get this fight going. They back off. We attack into them. We have three leaders who are all very capable. So we will just go straight in for this attack. Uh, it is desert we're attacking into, which is kind of like plains of this area. So, yeah. And they have no leaders. So we have destroyed their army completely and utterly. Although my commander was slain. Okay. Uh, although we still apparently have three commanders. Oh, that must be the one who replaced them because I don't use Trickster very often. Right, we need a new commander. New commander is going to be uh, this guy. Seems alright. He's neutral um, on all of his bonuses. And then our brother and heir need to choose what we're going to give him. Diplomatic wouldn't be that bad. Does give him curious, which means he'd get more chats to get shrewd. But actually, nothing from curious is bad. Haughty is proud, arbitrary, or cruel. They're all fairly bad. Conscientious is fairly good. We could go into stewardship for him. Yeah. Let's go to stewardship for him. We'll probably do quite well, I think. Yeah. We're aiming to head over to the war goal, so let's kind of set ourselves over that way. See, where are you running to? Oh, he's running to... Yeah. He's running to here. So actually, maybe we'll chase him down. That's fine. We are going to take attrition, but only for a very short amount of time. Oh, whose army is that? We got uh, money... Uh, that's the Sultanate's army. Uh, I don't like that we're taking so much attrition. Uh, let's head out of here. There we go. We'll try and avoid taking attrition over this way. That's fine. Vassal, who we can gain leverage against. Uh, she is in a faction against us. We'll threaten her, I think. She has left the faction against us, which is nice. Um, if we wait, we can get a little bit more reinforcement before we go and attack in. Uh, Senma uh, asked me to get some um, things for her at the market as she is already going. She is even paying me. Uh, oh, as I'm already going. She is even paying me. So I get 10 gold or I can say I refuse. Mm, okay, let's go. That seems fine. Uh, we'll do something for our little sister. Let's attack through in here. That'll probably work very well for us. Regency is over. I finished my education in the ways of intrigue. It's a fascinating subject. Never interrupt your enemy when he is making a mistake. We are now a flamboyant schemer. Okay, not the worst it could be. We have a great hat though. And we got Eritrude, which is very good. Well, it's an extra learning and it gets church opinion. It's not amazing, but it's good. The more I hear the words of wise old men, the more I want to be like them. Only knowledge comes... Only from knowledge comes true strength. Nice. And we got Gregarious from our playful. I've always loved playing with others, and I still do. Nice. That's all very, very good stuff. We need an ambition. Our ambition's going to be reject the poison of greed. That could definitely be it. Defeat fear. I like that one. Argon of enlightenment or groom and air. I think realistically, groom and air is kind of where we're going first. We need a focus. For us, I'd say Intrigue would make the most character-wise focus for us. Yeah. We could maybe do something with that. The problem is we don't have a lot of plots going on, so... Gameplay-wise, it doesn't really fit. We could go Family, which is okay. Not the worst one ever. Family is a little bit different. Yeah, we didn't go Family last time, so we'll go Family for just now. Um... We need to get married. Let's see what we've got. So we're looking for around the right age because we'd like to be married right now. If we're not, we want to get a concubine, I think. Let's see. Who's younger? We're going for about 13 up. 
So attractive, that's not bad. Stats don't look like they're going to end up being bad. That could be a good one. Uh, anyone else? Not really. Nothing. These are all very bad, uh, you know, genetic traits. Mm, yeah, we have to go up to 40 to the next genetic trait we get. Let's marry a 13-year-old. Uh, well, betroth, and then we'll uh, we'll go and get some concubines. Yes. Uh, so you, I would like to get this marriage, and because it's the uh, daughter of uh, a Kagan, we will likely get an alliance with that. And then what we're looking for is we're looking for um, we're looking for women who are not in prison, who are not married, who are not rulers, who are within diplomatic range. Who would join my court who are the right age? Because I think we'll be able to just take them as concubines. So let's get, let's see. We're allowed three, aren't we? Three. Um Let's go for three right now then. No. Okay. Uh they can't be Shia, so they have to be my religion group. There we go. Three. Uh no. Oh, the Sunni... Vi oh, well, they have to be my re in a place of my religion group, not just my religion. Yeah. Okay, we'll go for any religion then and my realm. Yeah, that limits the options a little bit. The one lunatic, one chase. Well, these are going to be interesting uh, concubines, aren't they? Yeah. Well, we'll take them. That's fine. Right. Head over uh, this way. Beat up the army. So we have got one concubine, and we have got one marriage going on. Nice. Uh, do you want a uh, alliance with that? Maybe. If we sent him a gift, he would actually give us an alliance. Not an artifact. Well, we, you'd probably accept an alliance with that as well, but we'll send him um, some money. Yeah, that looks good. We'll get our alliance going. We have one concubine. Uh, you forced everyone to join your factions. That's my spy master. Fact, he has increased council power faction. Okay. That's fine. We got our alliance there. We have beaten up that army. Nice. Nice. We kind of want to go fight that army right now. I think we're good enough. Like, we're in a good position to fight it. So, let's try that. We got some improved relations. Which is good. Uh, yeah, we're stronger than they are. So, we should be good. We'll call our ally into this war, actually. That seems like a good idea. So he's the... He is... Uh, Hedsday. Would that be Zedsday or Hedsday or something like that? I don't know. That's probably a th sound or something, generally, wouldn't it? I think so. Something like that. Anyway. It, I don't know why I'm trying to pronounce anything. With this cold, everything's going to be wrong. So, you know, we'll just go with it. Go with it, pretty much. Yeah. Right. Uh, this should be good. He has 300 special troops. We don't. I still think it's going to be good. He has leaders this time. We do have the Trickster, which is a problem because Trickster could end up with us having some really big, uh, bad tactics. Yeah, because I think it just chooses random tactics. So, we'll see. It doesn't look great for us. This side's losing. The middle's equal and then our side's losing here. But actually, if, that's, if that stays roughly where it is, we win because they're taking more losses and we have more men. Yeah, so their, uh, their uh, left flank has just fallen apart. Then we then get the bonuses on the center and we win. Yeah, perfect. That's what I like to see. Uh, where are you going? You're headed to this one. We'll definitely chase you in. Wait. Oh, for a second there, I thought we were going to have... Uh, oh, they must be moving up. I was wondering why uh, it would say, like, because that those guys, the guys who were here only moved one province, and I was thinking, wait, do I somehow have Shattered Retreat turned off? But, nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, this is going to be one of our uh, commanders. Right. Keep chasing down. They're all heading down to Parang. Seems fine by me. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just keep chasing them back. Your vassal has expressed her dissatisfaction with her choice of advisor. She claims that she is more qualified than the majority of your council to make an excellent Lochan. However, it, she would be a controversial choice, however. Then say, what a brilliant idea. I fire somebody I don't so much have a great reason to keep in power. Okay. 
Uh, she becomes Lochan. She likes me, which is great, and but we do get minus 15 with all others. But she is our most powerful vassal, so I think that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Right, let's quickly go and... Well, we need to assign her to do something. Don't need to improve relations with her anymore. Yeah, I mean, the revolt against her is actually the strongest, but not a lot we can do about that. Ah, uh, we could get her to improve relations with the revolt against her, which is just an amusing thought. We will quickly tell her to go do that. Okay. I want to chase down and through here. I definitely want to catch them. Uh, we got more money. That's good. They can fund our war. Uh, that's not a great place for us to attack. In fact, being in the mountains overall isn't great for us. We'll head back. We'll head back around to Gar. No reason for us to chase into their mountain provinces. We can get them to fight us and ours. That's good. We kind of want to go get the war goal, which our ally has actually came... He has come over and got that. So what we want to do is we want to go back up our ally, I think. Need a commander on this flank? This guy can can do it. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, this guy can do it. That seems good. Chase over the top here. We have a bonus of mountains now. Uh, you want to attack into that army? Probably not in the... That's plains. Oh, okay. So we don't need to take a river crossing. Where is the river crossing? Between York and Kashgar... So Artooks is fine. So if we head up to uh, Art Artooks, we can uh, attack in. Yeah. Oh, we're going to be... They have 2,000 special troops. I don't want to attack in here. I don't know what they are. Oh, perfect. Seljuks are attacking them. Why? Defending against someone in the invasion of the Lumbini Band. Is that... That must be the war he's in. Um, wait. Yeah. Why else is he in it? Oh, he's also in the Holy War. Oh, wait. I was looking at the wrong one. He's defending against... Someone in the Holy War for Kashgar. Okay. Ah. Huh. Okay. Yeah, Seljuks are in the Holy War for Kashgar. What is Kashgar? De jure it's that? That's alright. So they're going to take that province, but that's absolutely fine by us. Right. Okay. Us being... Oh, I thought we were going to be in the fight, but we're not. That's fine. We'll head down this way. We'll chase down our army and kill them at the other end. You're heading to that one, right? Yeah, to uh, Kutal. Uh, where are you headed now? You're heading down to uh, Bulk. Oh my god, how far are they retreating? Do we have taken war score? We should do. We don't have taken war score. But we hold the war goal, don't we? Yeah, we hold the war goal, therefore we should have taken war score. Um, except that we don't. Okay, that's fine. I guess we're just gonna... Wow, they're, they're off. Uh, I guess we'll just siege here. So you would like to my you would like your son to marry my half-sister. No? I think is a very fair offer there. Maybe sawed off might be included in that, but you know, no. Uh, Marshall, that's going to be uh, none of these guys because they're my commanders. So I guess it's going to... Do we have a vassal who wants to do it? Not really. I guess it does have to be one of these guys. Maybe the one who's the worst commander. So I guess this guy. Okay. Then he can go and train troops over here. Don't really care if he likes me or not. Alright, we'll stay here and wait for them to come back. That seems like a reasonable uh, answer. And I think we're going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.